Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move into our IDE and let's zoom in here. We need to do some housekeeping work. I simply want to copy paste one of my previous projects. So I'm going to copy this 01 class definition project. And then I'll move up to 04 classes and paste it here. Because I want it to be a subdirectory of 04 classes. And now I'll simply rename this copy. And I'll call it O2 Access Modifiers. Alrighty, so now initially the IDE will show errors. Simply close the previous files and that should get rid of any of the errors that you have. So let's move into the O2 access modifiers directory and open customer.ts. Alrighty, so what I'd like to do is go in here and make these properties private. So I use the private access modifier. And then if I move down, I'll see that there are some compilation errors. So the IDE has noticed some errors here. It says, hey, the property is private. It's only accessible within the class customer. And we'll also see this in the little problems output here. And they'll even give you the line number, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and move to our terminal window. I want to move to the directory 04 classes slash 02 access modifiers. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and compile our code. And notice here it gives the comp compilation errors. It says the property is private, only accessible within the class customer. And we kind of expected that. So if we look at the contents of our directory, even though there are compilation errors, the TypeScript compiler still generates a .js file. Yikes, what's up with that? <laughs> It shouldn't do that, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and just clean this up a bit. So let's remove the customer.js file or delete it. And now we only have the customer.ts in our file. And remember, we can solve this by using that compiler flag, dash, dash, no emit on error. So it says, do not generate a .js file if there's a compilation error. So now when I add that compiler flag, it goes through and everything works as desired. So there are compilation errors and I simply look at the contents of my directory and I see that there's only the .ts file. So yay, the .js file was not generated. So let's go ahead and move back into the code and let's rename the properties. So I'm going to rename the property using the underscore symbol for first name. And I'll do a similar thing for last name. And notice here it updates everything in the constructor accordingly. And so remember, we can give any property name. Most TypeScript developers use the leading underscore. But again, there's nothing special about the underscore. There's no magic, just a convention. You could call it anything. You can call it X, Y, A, B, whatever. And now what I'll do is I'll actually go through and create those special TypeScript accessors. So I set up the get accessor. And again, remember that special syntax, get space the property name. And then a similar thing here for the set accessor. the syntax set space property name. 
And then also remember there's no return type, not even void. So that's the one item that it's very particular. All right, so we're all set up. So we have our accessors in place here for that property first name. And that should resolve the issue that we have at the bottom with those previous compilation errors. So let's just scroll down for a bit. So yeah, so this looks great. So first name properties, A-OK, -okay. that's not a problem. So we're good with that. Uh, but there's still an issue for last name. So we need to add accessors here for last name. So now it's kind of more of the same, but I'll use a different approach here. So what I'll do is I'll move up to this line of code and I'll actually have the IDE generate the accessors for me. So I select the line, uh, I show the fixes and I'll say generate get set accessors. Ooh, I like it. And then there we go. So we have the get and set last name that was generated by the IDE. Cool. I love it. I love it. So what I want to do is kind of just cut and paste on this because I like for my code to show after the constructors. So I'll cut those get sets and I'll move them down to the bottom and place them right here. But there we go. So we have our get last name and our set last name uh, set up just fine. So now that takes care of that one issue that we had earlier. So that goes away. So first name property set and last name properties set up A-OK, -okay, just fine. Good job. So let's move into our terminal window here and compile the code. And ew, that's weird. Ah, OK, it says that accessors are only available when targeting ECMAScript 5 and higher. So that means I need to set up another compiler flag. So I need to set the compiler flag dash dash target ES5. Okay. And then now when I go through and compile, everything will compile just fine. Whew, good stuff, good stuff. And now when I run the application, it runs as desired and I'm able to see the given output. Okay, great. Alrighty, so good example here of using accessors in our application.